The Wall Street Journal's annual ranking of the best and worst airlines is a pretty big deal. It's based on how they perform operationally, how reliable they are, and the results are closely watched in the industry. So this year, we wanted to really take things to new heights. Welcome to the Wall Street Journal's Airline Awards. Seven categories, one overall winner, the best performing airline of 2018. And now, your host, Scott McCartney. In each category, we measure the rate at which bad things happen to travelers. When we look at things like canceled flights and mishandled baggage, we look at the percentage of problems for each flight or passenger so that the size of the airline doesn't really matter. Our first award is for on-time arrivals. 2018 was a difficult year for airlines in terms of on-time arrivals, with severe weather battering key airports. But one airline managed to soar to an impressive 82.9% in on-time arrivals. The winner of the 2018 On-Time Arrivals Award goes to Delta Airlines. Of all the delays that can affect an air traveler, a delay on the tarmac may be the most uncomfortable. This is the award for tarmac delays of two hours or more. The award for the lowest rate of tarmac delays over two hours goes to Southwest Airlines. Southwest didn't have a single flight that got stuck on the tarmac for three hours or more. Of all the ways an airline can ruin your day, involuntary bumping may cause the most lasting negative impression. We all remember that United Airlines flight back in 2017. Some airlines have changed significantly since then, but not all got the memo. One airline managed to best keep their commitments with only 47 cases over 12 months. The award for the lowest rate of involuntary bumping goes to Delta. An extreme delay is defined in the industry as a flight that arrives 45 minutes or more after its scheduled arrival time. Next up, the award for the lowest rate of extreme delays. Our top-ranked airline managed only 5.6% of its flights suffering extreme delays. The award for the lowest rate of extreme delays goes to Alaska Airlines. Our next award really gets at which airline is the most dependable, especially if you're on a tight schedule. When it comes to canceled flights, two airlines stood out. They each canceled fewer than 1% of their flights. It was almost a tie, but one airline was slightly better. The award for the lowest rate of canceled flights goes to Delta, just edging out Spirit. Losing a bag can quickly turn an otherwise pleasant flight into a maddening ordeal. The award for the lowest rate of missing old baggage goes to what may be a surprise winner for many, Spirit Airlines, the discount carrier. Next up, our award for the lowest rate of formal complaints filed with the DOT. Airlines don't disclose how many complaints they get, but the Department of Transportation does. For most air travelers, filing a formal complaint with the Department of Transportation is a tedious task, but it's not futile. Complaints filed with DOT do get more attention at most airlines, and they do show how each airline is treating its customers. The award for fewest complaints per passenger goes to Southwest Airlines. Our final award combines all the categories we ranked into one award for the best airline of 2018. Last year was a rough year for Frontier. There are low rankings in on-time, extreme delays, involuntary bumping, and consumer complaints landed the Denver-based carrier dead last on our list. American was right behind them and next to last. In fact, American, the largest carrier, has finished last or next to last in 10 of the 11 years we've done the scorecard. And now without further ado, the winner of the Best Airline Award goes to Delta Airlines. Running an airline is tough. You're often at the mercy of mother nature, but Delta has shown that big airlines can operate very well. And last year, better than any other airline. Congratulations, Delta.